I got introduced into the issue of English learner education uh, when I was uh, a psychologist teaching in the psychology department at Yale University doing work with bilingual children and looking at the positive benefits of bilingualism. Uh, it's a line of research that's been picked up recently um, around uh, the, the benefits of bilingualism for, for executive function and even the delay of the onset of dementia in older people. Uh, but it was, I was working on, on some earlier lines on that. And in the course of doing that work, I got to know the bilingual student population in New Haven, Connecticut, which was mostly Puerto Rican. Uh, and I got into it in a funny period. In, in some ways, uh, Secretary William Bennett got me into this. He was Secretary of Education during the, the Reagan administration. And he was making a big uh, kind of a political uh, uh, maneuver around uh, politicizing bilingual education, native language, and so forth. And because I was doing work that highlighted the positive aspects of bilingual education, I became sort of a target of some of, some of that, that debate. Uh, so that's how I got introduced into it. And it's really been interesting seeing how uh, the field has evolved from simply a, a, a single kind of controversy over whether to use native instruction or not to what standards-based instruction uh, means and the Common Core really represents uh, a um, the most recent wave of you know how how to include all students uh, in the attainment of um, of high expectations as represented by the standards.